This tutorial is about socket communication. I expect you already created a NetBeans project with a TCP server and a TCP client class, and you have tested it and seen that the client can open a connection to the server. We will now proceed with this uh, program and set up some streams that can operate on the client and on the server side sockets. As you know, all I.O. in Java is done through streams. Therefore, on the TCP class, let's I'll come in this for a moment. We will see what we have here. It is named client socket. that we did offer here. I need a stream. I need actually to send out something from the client to the server. So I look down here. I found git output stream. It will return output stream for this socket. And if it is associated with something, then it will send it to the channel. And this channel is actually the channel to the server. This is exactly what I need. Like this. But of course, I need to do something more. I need to assign some kind of return value to this. You notice I added an import for the I.O. over here. Now when I got this, we can look at what kind of method it is offering. And then I can see it's always some write method, but this write method is operating on a byte away. This is not so interesting for me. I just want to write some sentences. So therefore I will add another stream on the OS. This stream is out to the server. And then I'm ready to print out something or send something over to the server. And happily I find a print sentence down here. Let's take that one. Write a little thing. Not hello world, but it's a close shot. All right, this uh, more or less in the client side. Let's look at the server side then. I'll do it in the same way. Yep. Again, I will look at the socket. See what method is offering, and here I can see I have a get input stream, so that's a natural choice, of course. Read something from my channel like this. I need to, to put on a stream on this one that I'm reading something, so I make an input stream reader.
bit of this parenthesis I seem to have there. Like this. So now I put up an input stream reader. And if I look at the method offered here, I'm also a little bit in the disappointed because it is reading something into a jar array and that is not what I'm really looking for. I can see read down here. It's actually just reading an integer. These things here we can apply later, but not for this assignment here. So I need to add a new buffer reader on this one. operating on the input stream reader stream here so now I have the stream but actually I have not uh, read anything yet so I read something I know it is returning a, a string text and the line must then be terminated by a line feed or cache return or something like this. This I must remember. Just take that method right away here. And then of course I would like to see what I actually get. So I start the server again, run it, ready, go to my client, here, run it again, client connected to server, but unfortunately we got a new error, connection reset. It is true that the client activated so then, then something went wrong with our communication. And we can see what went wrong is that it's trying to read something, but it is not so informative. What is it that has gone wrong here? If we look at the client again, we can see that uh, I say out to server print. But read line expects something more. It expected a slash n, it said in the documentation. So I'll put that up instead here. Oh, of course, you could just have chosen the method called print line instead, like this. Let's try to run the server again. And we can see here, very nice, from the client we got hello server, exactly like we should. And if I run it again, we can see again, our server is ready, but blocked, waiting for a new client. Again, I got this hello server. Of course, this communication program is not so interesting, but this is the first start of a chat program, one can say. 
only one-way communication, parents like to do that with the child. So that actually uh, ends the story of the socket communication so far, so good. And the next step is actually for you to do is uh, finish an assignment where we put up a so-called echo server. I write something from the client to the server and then it returns the same thing back like an echo. So I wish you good luck with that.